President Obama took an aerial tour of the Hurricane Sandy destruction, meeting with families still trying to recover on Staten Island. Later, and in private, he met with the parents of the two young boys who were killed in that storm. And we have learned of an aftershock from the storm, which will in some measure affect everyone coast to coast. ABC's Steve Osinsami with the surprising consequence of the storm. When those awful floodwaters from Sandy came rushing through, flooding streets and swamping homes, what no one expected was the storm's surprising second hit. We all lost our cars. At the same time, we're all trying to get a car. It's a madhouse. More than 250,000 personal vehicles were washed away by storm waters. Today, used car dealerships are busy with storm victims. And adding insult to injury, prices are shooting up because of the storm. We're expecting to see higher prices of $700 to $1,000 per vehicle. For every six people who walk into this Staten Island used car dealership to buy a car, five of them lost their cars to the storm. Michelle and Thomas Lupari just bought a used together. minivan that came with 70,000 miles. I need a car. I have to go to work tomorrow. So I'm kind of stuck. It was a happy moment. You're just signing the bottom. But costly too. We were hoping to get something for under 10 and I'm winding spending 13. Nancy Zito lost two cars. Today she can only afford one. Right now between repairs and everything else that's going on, we just don't have the money. And it's not just the hurricane zone. Experts believe used car prices will rise across the country as dealerships in New York and New Jersey drain supplies. Michael DeVille manages a dealership in Los Angeles. The East Coast dealers are going to have to buy used cars. So now they're going to come over here to buy used cars. That may cause a price increase. And there's another problem, and you can see it in all of these flooded cars that line up and down the street that were flooded by the East River just a block away. How do you keep these rusting, rotted cars from winding up on used car lots across the country? Experts say that if you're going to buy a used car anytime soon, you should look for moisture, sand, and leaves. Even take out the spare tire and look there if you have to.